And what's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy, Coach Dante YT. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe on the video, man. I really appreciate you guys uh, for supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much for whoever always come to my channel. Always come uh, to my channel to support me, man. I really thank you guys so much. Uh, uh, appreciate everybody, man. Really, real talk, man. So, I say, let, uh, other than that, let's get right in. Uh, like I say, to this video, um, it's about I'm on the AFC West. If y'all want to go check out all the other videos, the NFC uh, videos, my over and unders, and also my AFC uh, East, my AFC North, and my AFC South uh, videos, over and under, y'all go check those out as well. Uh, y'all check this one out too. We will start the, at the last place team in the division. Uh, they had a terrible season last year. Uh, they got a quarterback. They traded for a quarterback in the offseason. Um, they're having a quarterback. I believe they're having a quarterback competition or they might trade uh, a certain quarterback. But like I say, again, uh, it doesn't it doesn't look good for them. Their running back fled to Houston in the off season, which is uh, Philip Lindsay. When Philip Lindsay is on the field, Philip Lindsay is a pretty good running back. Um, we're talking about the uh, Denver Broncos. Uh, they didn't have a great season last year. They was five and eleven. Uh, uh, Andrew Luck, Andrew Lock didn't even play most of the games. I think it's a quarterback competition between him and Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. If you're a Denver Broncos fan, let me know in the comment section who y'all think is gonna start be the opening uh, day starter: Teddy Bridgewater or Drew Lock, or is Drew Lock is gonna be traded? Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is someone that got hurt uh, a couple of years ago with a horrific uh, knee injury. Uh, he's someone that don't push the ball up the, up the uh, field, but he won't hurt you by turning the ball over. He's not a big play uh, quarterback. Um, he's more of a uh, main game manager than anything. Uh, their receivers, Corlin Sutton. Corlin Sutton is uh, okay. He's an okay receiver. And like I say, Denver had a terrible season all around, man. Uh, so they got a lot of uh, room for improvement. I think they're one of the guys, they're one of the teams in the, in the uh, uh, sweepstakes of Aaron Rodgers or Deshaun Watson. Uh, so we're going to see what's, what's going what's gonna to happen. But this team is not a very good team. Uh, they were uh, in their team stats. They were... Lad, they were uh, 26 in the past, throwing, throwing, uh, passing the football at 215 uh, yards, uh, 215 yards uh, uh, per game, 119 yards uh, uh, per game. That is 13th in the game, so they ran the football pretty well. Uh, they don't put up many points. They were uh, eight, 28th in the lead. They were second, probably. Uh, they were probably they were uh, uh, fourth to last in. Uh, Scoring points, they average 20 points a game. That's not good. That's not good. You're not going to beat too many people like that. Uh, their defense, that used to be good with Von Miller. as the anchor and leader of that defense. I just think he needs a fresh start somewhere else. Uh, I, I don't know if they still got Chris Harris Jr. or not like that. One of their best, their best corner, Kareem Jackson. Uh, his best times was in Houston. Uh, like I say, the average they gave up 27 points per game. That is not good. Almost 28 points per game. That is eighth in the league. The defense was atrocious in the game. In that uh, that defense, that tell you the defense was atrocious right there. That defense was was bad. It was piss was very very bad. That defense was very very bad. That's that's what tell that's what uh it tells you right there. So like I say again, man, they got a lot of stuff uh, to improve on, man. Uh, Got a lot of stuff they need to clean up, but the quarterback situation is is, is first, right? It's first, but I'll say other than that, uh, ain't too much to talk about with Denver. Uh, over and under five wins with Denver. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go just by right there at five wins, uh, not four wins for Denver Broncos. I just don't see them improving, improving too much, but I'll say I'm going to go by like five, five wins. Best can Best uh, case scenario, six wins for uh, Denver, but I'm going to go with, with five wins. I'm going I'm to take the five wins. I'm going to take uh, just about right there, right there. But the uh, first three games of the schedule, it's pretty okay. They can they can pretty much could, could, could win, but like I say, I don't know. I'm not going to predict that. 
first game, first regular season game against the Giants. Then they got the Jaguars. Then they got the uh, they, they got the Jets. So those are three favorable games that they really could win. Uh, the Ravens. They got the Ravens. They got the Steelers. They got the Raiders. They have the Bron. They have the Browns. They have the Washington Football Team. They have the Cowboys. They have the Eagles. The uh, Chargers. They have the uh, Chiefs. They have the Lions. They have the Bengals. They have the Raiders. They have the Chargers again. And they close out the season with the Kansas City Chiefs, man. But like I say, man, uh, the defense have to be very, stepping up a very notch because 27 points a game, 28 points a game pretty much won't get the job done. You're not, you're not going to beat anybody consistently giving up 28 points per game. Uh, they run the football pretty good by their, by their uh, stats. They run the football pretty good, 13th in the lead. They have to improve on uh, on their passing a lot, but Teddy Bridgewater is someone that don't throw the ball up the field too much. He's not a big play, big arm uh, type quarterback. He's a game manager, and they and like I said, they got to better generate points uh, on the board, and which is they don't do well. So like I said, man, that's the end of the video. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. What you guys think about this over and under? I got them at like five, at five wins, just about right there where they uh, was last year. Thank you guys. I'm out. Much love. Peace.